previously on Duckgate. Please find my rubble! Straight from a cow's belly. <laughs> Attract, confuse, spontaneously combust. <laughs> Wait, pause there. Okay. Uh, screenshot. Uh, adjust the brightness. Wait a minute. No. Oh my god. Duck. Gate. The gates of dawn. The fence of dawn. The trees in the wind. Yes. Yes. It all makes sense now. La da da. Doing mum things. I'm a mum. Mum? <gasps> yes, dear. I, I need to call the High Council. Ah, my luscious locks. Always getting in the way of my face. <laughs> Do you want your crown, son? Well, of course I want the crown, Mum. There you go. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, hey, Your Majesties, how's it going? Your Majesties. We have a problem. What seems to be the problem, your majesty? Your majesty, the duck is real. I analyzed investigative videos of Truman Freeman. He tried to communicate something. I also found an episode on Duckgate that was never released. Your majesties, how can we be sure of this? Truman Freeman is the most conspiracyist detective on TV. He could have just made it up to play with us. Your Majesty, if what you're saying is true, then the world is in danger. Your Majesty, I will keep digging. We are getting closer to the truth. More importantly, I can finally update my blog. It's been almost 48 hours. You know what the algorithm is like. All hail the algorithm! Dude. Your Majesties, I have to feast downstairs. M Mummy has made a fresh fish supper. Sheila, can you get, like, uh, can you get, uh, oh, like the prawn cocktail crisps? That would be sick. Let's all look into this and keep each other updated. Agreed, Your Majesty. Agreed, Your Majesty! Agreed, Your Majesty. Have you heard of this Truman Freeman guy? Yeah, what a beat it cut loser. And people are saying that the stuff they're telling in the media about him is lies, but you know what? If you're such a fucking beta pussy, then you deserve all of that. By the way, for those that haven't read it already, my next book is out. Thank you, Nigel. It's called Duckgate for Pussies. This is the ultimate guide to keeping Duckgate out of your head. And if you're bored of that, there's also a load of ab exercises in there as well. Now this book comes with a free VHS. Come on, Nigel. Thank you, mate. This is called How to Scam the Elderly Without Getting Caught. It's in 3D, 4K, look at it, Watch it, put it in your eyes, and get out of the cave that you live in. Yes, well that show, as the kids would say, is a pile of horse shit. I prefer to follow the philosophy of someone like James Corden, who really understands metaphysics. Oh yes, very good point, Daniel Day-Lewis, yes, yes. I'd never thought of it that way. Oh, shiver my biscuits. I need your clothes. Thank you. 
Express Laundry Service. He's helped me out in many touching cloth moments. That's a very good point. Well said, Daniel Day-Lewis. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Never let me down. Have you seen this man? Oh, Plato, bro, yes. He's an awful comedian. You'll find him over there in the comedy club. I mean, honestly, I'll just give you my ticket. What a pile of tripe. Thank you. So I have all these people telling me that my characters are stereotypes, but they're not. They are accurate portrayals of certain sections of our community. So the Reddit detective, right, he's a nuanced portrayal, I would say, of the metal community and the nerd community. Now, both of those communities disagree, but I think, you know, when you get really close to the bone, you do rile people up. And I think that their anger is actually a good sign. Okay. Right, so in my last videos, it's been a bit ropey. You know, we're all aware of it. I've got about 13 pence to my name, so I'm just doing what I can. Do you know what I mean? So if all of you can... No, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, well. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you care for a finger? <laughs> That's very inappropriate, son. I apologise. Get closer to the La da da. This is my attempt at a woman. It's very shit. I apologize. <laughs>